Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily Lucy Ratch. If you are new here, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Today's video is a Zara haul for spring summer. The last Zara haul I did was actually one of my biggest ever videos on YouTube. You guys made that go viral, so thank you so much, and I hope this one's just as good. So let's get going. I just wanna make things right. So first of all, I just want to say some of these bits I have actually wore. I went to Dubai last week for a work trip, so I did actually end up wearing a few of the bits. And I'm actually glad I did because some of them I probably would have reviewed saying I absolutely loved them, but actually wearing them out in the world <laughs> with outfits, I have some hesitations. So I'm going to share that with you first of all, and that is this skirt. So I literally have just had it to film but I cannot find it anywhere I've got no idea where I've put it it is dirty because I obviously I've just said I wore it in Dubai so I've put it to wash somewhere but I can't find it anywhere but anyway here it is on um and as you can see from me in this clip showing like the way it's designed it looks so nice if you could wear the knot at the front but they've designed it for the knot to be at the side and then this like ruching to go down the back but the ruching only goes to the back rather than the bum so it's just a bit like I don't know what's going on with the design here, it's just not working at all. Um, and as I was walking, because I actually wore it in Dubai here in a walking video, you can just really see it's like highlighting my tummy area and making it look bigger than it actually is in the bottom. So the fabric I'm not 100% sure on, and also the design of it, I feel like there's so much potential there for it to be amazing, but it's just not quite right. So. This one I do like, and maybe you're somebody who has doesn't have like lower tummy that sticks out like me, and you might love that idea. Um, you might love that design, but for me it was a miss, and I wish I hadn't wore it because I would definitely take it back if I could. Um, but it's one of those probably going to be like set in my wardrobe because <laughs> I can't bear to throw it away because it was so expensive. So yeah, number one regretful like i thought it was going to be better than it was when you actually do push it to the front the knot it is really nice but like i said the ruche at the side is just a bit like doesn't really work so number one is a no from me then number two i'm gonna go straight in because this one got such a good response on instagram i didn't actually post it on instagram i just took a story of me wearing it um when i tried it on in dubai i actually wore it with flat shoes to go to shimmers in dubai through the day and it was really really gorgeous and actually now trying it on at home with heels and like dressing it up i love this dress so much so much i've actually ordered it in black as well because i feel like it's just so so nice so this one is in a large and i actually have ordered the black in an extra large and now i'm I'm really regretting it because the fit of this is just so nice. It's got like a built in like bra almost. So the girls are so happy to be in this dress hooked up. And then we also have adjustable straps, which anybody who is short in the torso or bigger busted, you are just going to be so thankful for these straps. They are so good to give you that cleavage. And like I said, it's almost like a bra is like built into this dress. It's so, so nice. I think this is probably one of the nicest dresses I have ever tried from Zara. It is so nice and it's just made for my kind of body shape. It just goes in in all the right areas. This ruchy bit on the front is just so nice. The colour is just so on trend. I've done it in like a column colour by wearing it with a uh, with a green bag as well. And if I had green shoes, I probably would have wore green shoes with it as well because that is so this spring summer to wear like a column of colour. And this really just gorgeous green colour is so in again for this season as well. So yeah. I would highly, highly recommend trying this dress because, I don't know, I just feel so good when I'm wearing it. I can't even describe it. I just feel like it hits you in all the right places. It creates curves that are not there and it's super flattering so you feel comfortable in it while wearing it. You can dress it up or dress it down. Like I mentioned, I wore it with flat shoes on holiday. But also, as I've shown you here, you can dress it up with heels and it's just gorgeous. I cannot rave about this enough then next is this skirt on the website i was like wow this looks perfect for me it's got this really nice little ruching bit here i love skirts especially like white ones for summer because you can really mix and match them with bodysuits i'm actually wearing a bodysuit right now this one is from my brand ELR style and i just absolutely love to team like shorts and skirts in summer with bodysuits either low neck little strap ones high neck ones like this they're just so good for building outfits around for whatever the occasion is that you are wanting to do so they make really good basics, as do skirts like this. However, trying it on from the front, I was like, oh, this looks great. Like, it fits. It's actually a size large, um, but the fabric is like a really nice stretchy material. And again, really good quality, as always, I think, for Zara um, for the price. Um, this little detail, I wasn't completely sold on this detail. I feel like it's 
again gonna like limit what you can wear it with um so i personally would have preferred it if it was just plain but as soon as i turned around my ass cheeks were hanging out like i know micro minis are back and this whole like 2000 vibe is back for summer but honest to god it is so short like it is ridiculously short like my bum was actually hanging out and back in the noughties when i was a teenager 15 16 years old probably would have not cared but as a 32 year old woman I i'm like no my dignity you can literally see <laughs> the bottom of my bum like no so this one sadly is going back it's 30 pounds and it's such a shame because like i said it's got so many really nice features it's just so so small and if i size up to an xl i feel like it's going to be too loose on the summer because it's already quite like it, it already fit perfectly so if i go if i go for a size bigger it's not going to have the same effect and it's going to go like low rise which we all hate low rise please repeat with me we all hate low rise i do not want this trend of low rise to come back in because anybody who has a little tummy like me low rise tortured me throughout my teenage years i am not ready to relive the low rise era please make it make it go away then we have this green dress so i saw this online i actually did two orders from um Zara because I wanted one for my holiday and then I thought actually I'm gonna make a haul out of it so I ordered again so some of these were out like a week before the others whereas this one just came out um, and I do really like it it looks gorgeous online but when it's come it's just I don't love the color you know I feel like it's just like too like contrasting it's too harsh um, I thought I thought it was like a lot softer the green and the pink together but instead it's like this really harsh like fabric with this harsh I don't know I just think it looks a bit cheap um which is a shame because actually the fit of the dress is so nice and again it has adjustable straps which I just love so much especially in summer so you can go braless um and just like have a nice tanned back out on holiday whereas I just hate the print if I'm honest I actually do think it looks quite nice on um but I just know for a fact I won't wear it because of this hideous print and the inside is like i remember like, my friend bought that bought her house and when she moved in the the bathroom was these two colors so this must have been like a big trend back in the 70s or something because the sink was this color and the tiles and then the bath mats and the curtains with this color together so i feel like this is like a trend that was once there is now coming back and again i'm not for it so i'm not dealing with it and i'm not doing it so this is going back too then fourth item is this gorgeous gorgeous shirt dress it's like a satiny silky white shade with this gorgeous ruching down the front drapes like drapes gonna be huge again for this spring summer and i'm so happy because again anybody with a little tum like me a bum and a tum draping is just so flattering for us and you can feel comfortable in it it's nothing too tight no micro minis like everything's draped in like a really nice sophisticated classy way so i'm so for draping and this dress i absolutely love this is me trying it on now the only thing is why i'm not going to keep it is it's in an XL and I wish I'd got it in a large um funny story I went to beauty works event on Tuesday last week and Shanice Fudge was there and we sat next to each other and she's such a lovely lovely girl but she was wearing this and I was actually going to wear this like it, can you imagine we'd have both walked in sat down together like it wasn't planned where everyone was sat and we would have both been wearing the exact same dress but she would have looked 10 times better because this one was way too big for me so I feel like the universe was on my side there it told me not to wear <laughs> not to wear this dress um but she looked absolutely gorgeous in it like it's one of those head turning dresses um and to see like how it fitted on Shanice compared to how it fitted on me I feel like I definitely need to size down to the large I will be returning this one and going for the smaller size then last summer I did a bit of a Zara haul as well and um, it wasn't to the extent that I did in autumn but um one thing that I absolutely loved and kept and I've worn to death is a Zara blazer so this one is quite expensive it is $89.99 and I've got it in an XL um, and it's honestly stunning if I hadn't already got one from last year I would definitely keep this um, it just needs to take into the dry cleaners mine but it's more or less identical I actually thought online this was white but it's ivory kind of warm ivory shade um, and I actually styled it up with this bodysuit and my Lucy shorts from ELR style that again are my designs as well so that they're really nice and flattering and cool for summer they're nothing too tight there's no like denim sticking in you they're like nice and floaty shorts that are really flattering um, and I teamed it up with this blazer as well just to keep it like more of a contemporary 
contemporary look that's going to be really nice to tie together in a hot summer day which i reckon this blazer would be really good for because it's not too thick it's just like um a light blazer in this gorgeous like summery ivory color so yeah i really really like this i would highly recommend however um i'm not going to keep it because it's literally identical i'm going to show you the other one this one i got in a size large and i probably would suggest i would get that one in a size large too but look at it it's like more or less identical like the color i actually think i prefer this color it's a lot cooler um and you just need to go to the dry cleaners because i've got i've wore it which is the only issue with this color as well like you just literally have to lean up against something and there's 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 dirt on it so it is something you have to keep up with with dry cleaning if you want a blazer like this and i think as well for the price like it is worth going to the dry cleaner rather than just trying to wash it yourself so that was going to the dry cleaner and that one is going back but i would definitely if you are in if you are in a position where you want to have a nice blazer for summer cannot tell you enough how much i think you should go for that blazer because i wore it to death last year and i know i'll wear the one from last year a lot this year great for dressing up great for dressing down great for putting over your shoulders if you don't want to be too on show or anything's too tight and you just want to have something to cover it's just a really good essential to have in your wardrobe to bring out every spring summer so i can't rate that enough too then we have this dress which i saw online and i thought do you know what it's not really something i would ever go for but lots of you guys are looking for wedding guest outfits so i went for this and i don't know i'm not 100 sure on this one see what you think but personally i don't think i'm going to keep it one i don't really have anywhere to wear it because i'm only going to one wedding and i'm a bridesmaid this year so um i won't need it but also i can't put my finger on what it is but i just don't feel like it's that great you know i feel like there's so much potential there but for some reason it's not giving me the wow but you might you might think differently so let me know in the comments down below if you think it is actually a wow factor um i got that one in a size large and it's 55 pounds which again is quite expensive but it is a really nice dress the fabric again is lovely and um, really good quality as always with zara and the fit is really nice for a large so yeah this one is for you ladies if you're going to be a wedding guest or you're going to a baby shower christening race or something like that i thought i'd just try this for you guys um it is giving me actually asos vibes i know asos do lots of really nice dresses in this kind of similar print um but zara have done their own and i think if i was going somewhere i probably would keep it but i'm not 100 sure so let me know what you guys think and then finally i saw this on the zara website and you guys love when i suggest leather skirts that are ruched so i thought oh my god definitely going to give this a go really high quality leather as always with zara love this like draping effect like i mentioned before super flattering on the tummy area but i got a large because i thought do you know what the leather's going to be soft and the other skirts i've suggested before in the autumn haul i did a, a zara leather skirt which was like a knot here and love it so many of you guys bought that and messaged me saying it was life-changing it's such a good essential to have so i thought do you know what i'm gonna size down in this one because the leather is so soft and the last one in xl was like not too big but not too small it was almost like when you wore it it got bigger because it's this soft leather so i thought i'm gonna try it in a size large oh my gosh look i couldn't even get it past my legs like it's so small the waist is just tiny there's no stretch in the softness at all i don't know what the difference is because it is identical fabric i'm not I'm, it's like identical it has to just be the pattern um which is a shame because it is really nice and i wish i could try it in the xl to show you because i do think having a leather skirt with the draping and the ruching is a really good essential to have in your wardrobe for summer and winter because you can wear it with tights in winter bodysuits tops shirts whatever and then in summer you can well spring mo more than summer because obviously it's a bit hot in summer but in spring you can wear it with like a white shirt and heels and you know just have it like a bit of a contemporary piece to put with like really warm nice nice colors like olive khaki brown things like that it, why it looks really nice with in spring and um, for more like of a going out look or again if you wanted to wear it through the day with like sandals and a jacket something like that blazer it's just a good essential to have so i'm really upset that that doesn't fit me but the universe again working in my favor so i hope you enjoyed this i think i'm going to do another zara haul pretty soon because I feel like they're going to have some really good pieces and the green dress has just blown me away so much that again I've gone from like never shopping at Zara to being like oh I can't wait to order from Zara so yeah I think I will definitely be doing another Zara shop maybe in a few months time when summer stock really hits because I feel like they're just touching what is coming um with their spring line at the moment but let me know if you want me to do any other hauls and other brands um i haven't been doing that many hauls recently because i've just been super busy with the brand but 
I'm back. I've got loads of content coming out. If you don't already follow me on Instagram and TikTok, head over there. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I am so close to hitting 80k. So please help me get there by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing. And thank you so much for watching. I will catch you guys super soon. Bye. I just want to make things right.